think of the traditional impact factor, they would like to compare this the so-called age index. Uh, by the way, this is a Brexit, uh, presentation. If you are interested, it's free. You can download it on bracy.com slash user slash Baumgartner without uh, capital letters or small letters. So you can download it and you can also use it for your website. Uh, okay, so let's start. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, preparing the talk, I, I had to sort of think about the target group. Yeah? Uh, actually, I'm traveling around with this talk and uh, got some invitation, mostly uh, invitation for seminars, because the problem is uh, young scientists need to manage their publication agencies. <clears throat> and so I'm giving seminars. Uh, but in this case, I'm uh, giving just a talk, so it would be more or less the first target group. I give you some general introduction about bio uh, bibliometrical, biometrical measures. So uh, I won't talk about <clears throat> how to uh, res how to make research work, or, or even for the management. For the management, is also important uh, this issue because if you are, let's say, in a commission and you want. Uh, <clears throat> to this, uh, make a decision uh, who can, goes up in the career, then also the publication measures are very important. But in the end, I will give you some ideas how to improve uh, the visibility, not to manipulate, yeah? because age index is much, dif much more difficult to manipulate than the impact factor. Yeah? But uh, not, it's not the idea to manipulate it, but to make it more visible uh, for your own career. So I, I stick on this, but I give you uh, later on uh, some references so you can also look and up and download the software. There is a lot of software available, so you can also manage it your index. You can make research work on different age index, not only for you, but also for other colleagues and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I would like to explain different indices, how to interpret interpret Google Scholar profile, and then uh, to give you some pointers about references and software. <clears throat> okay, so let's start. Uh, for the comparison, I would like to start with the journal impact factor. Um, as you know, we have essentially two available databases. One is by Thomson Reuters and the other is by Elsevier. Thomson Reuters uh, is, uh, is very famous. Um, it's the older one uh, and we have uh, three indices and I believe for you the most important would be the science citation index, right? Uh, we have another one in social scientists, but this is the website for the science uh, quotation index. Um, now, what's the idea about this index? Uh, you have a lot of uh, journals, they are listed in these indices, and uh, the quotation, that's one uh, problem, by the way, the quotation goes uh, from these listed indices. Yeah? So that means that, let's say, if in another journal you are listed, it doesn't mean that it will impact your quotation figure. Yeah? Um, here you have uh, an overview about different kind of uh, areas uh, and you can also look in all these kind of journals uh, they, they give you. I, I go much more in detail afterwards when I make the comparison. Another one is Scopus. Scopus is a newer one uh, and interesting enough uh, Scopus awaits some of the problems of writer index. Uh, for instance, Reuters has the problem that just the first and only if it's their own journal, uh, the second also is also published. And uh, Reuters has the problem that uh, um, <coughs> conference papers, uh, proceedings are not listed. And that sometimes in some sciences that's a big problem, especially in computer science, also in the education technology where I come from because we have a lot of presentation. They are double, they are, they, uh, they, we have a double-blind review in this uh, conference proceedings, but they are not listed. 
uh, in, in Reuters. They are listed in Scopus. Uh, Reuters has another problem, um, especially for the uh, social sciences and arts. If I have, a, uh, let's say, a paper on a conference or a discussion paper, and I have presented, let's say now, in this talk, and we have a discussion later on, and I change this paper, and I publish in one of the listed journals, and then I make a light, as a, let's say, uh, but because I'm an anonymous uh, uh, researcher, I make a footnote and I thank you uh, for the discussion uh, that has improved my paper. If I make this footnote, it's not <laughs> listed anymore as a, as a scientific paper. Yeah. Yeah? The problem is the, uh, they say, well, uh, it has to be a, an original publication. Yeah? It's not allowed that you have three versions before and you improve this paper. So that's another kind, because other, <laughs> that's strange, because then you have to quit this, uh, uh, to cancel this kind of footnote, but as a matter of fact, that's important, yeah, to address other people uh, that you have improved this paper. Uh, and I think it's also important, uh, Elsevier and Reuters are enterprises. They make profit with this, so they have not so much academic uh, interests, uh, they are in competition to each other, they want to get this uh, kind of uh, uh, papers and um, journals, but uh, as a matter of fact, they are not so interested uh, if there are other, uh, in the competition, other, other journals and not listed in their journals. So, uh, what I now wanted to do is uh, to make a comparison now uh, point by point. So I will go now much more into the details. And i uh, referring to a, um, um, how do you call, it's kind of a movement. Uh, there is a declaration on research uh, assessment, by the way done uh, by the American Society of Cell Biology. Um, and uh, I have just copied the first two pages and in the slideshow you have the, the URL and you can download this. It has about 10 pages, but only the first four pages are real text pages. The other six pages are all the organization they have joined this declaration. And here it's very interesting. You can see in the middle of the first page uh, the points A, uh, B, C and D. And it says uh, that the citation distribution, we can go to the next page, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the research, that's the uh, DORA, San Francisco Declaration on Research Assessment. But what I wanted to say is now, uh, the red points, uh, uh, these are here now uh, listed also in this declaration. First of all, we have a, this, uh, a skewed distribution in these impact factors. Let's say it this way. You have a journal, and this journal has some articles. Let's say with every issue, four articles, yeah, to give you a figure. And then you count all the quotes in these articles, and then you get a kind of an impact factor. The problem now is, that there are some articles that aren't quote, cited or quoted not at all. And there are some that have a very, very high quotation. So we have a, and, and you, can, you can look really in all these papers, yes? So you have a skewed uh, distribution, meaning that you have a, some papers very high quoted and others not so much. What you get is a, some kind of a mean distribution. And by the way, it doesn't mean if you succeed, because we have like a kind of a career that is saying, okay, you have to publish your paper in the A, B, or C journal. And let's say you succeed and you get in in the A journal, it doesn't mean that you will be quoted, because it just means that you have uh, uh, surpassed the select selection process. Uh, and I think that's a real problem. So people are working for papers and to get into journals, but it doesn't mean that the paper itself is very important. 
Yeah? It's maybe important for the editorial and for the people they are making uh, the policy of this paper. And this is uh, uh, the second problem. We have a mixture of diverse articles uh, because you have not only articles, you have also reviews. And a very uh, strange situation, just with, with writers, you have also kind of letters to the editors, uh, like, let's say, nature or science. And now the problem <laughs> arises. Yeah? If you have a quotation from a letter to the editor, to one of the articles of the journal, it counts. But the letter themselves is not an article. So it doesn't uh, grow the basis of the calculation. Uh, that's one kind of manipulation you can, yeah, if you get some uh, letters to the editors with a lot of quotation, then you, uh, the, the, the basis grew a lot. Another one is that uh, from the policy of the university, we could say, let's say, we are in the paper such and such, that's important for our science. It's forbidden to publish in other papers. All of us have to publish in these papers. And our working groups has to quote each other. What happens is that we improve and help improving the impact factor from one journal. And universities are doing this kind of, uh, because they have listed what is important. Uh, the faculty says, uh, paper, uh, our journal, are these and that paper, some professors say they are important. So they make a decision and they exclude, exclude other journals from their uh, uh, publication count because they have the policy not to publish there. Um, that's uh, the problem with the manipulation. And then the uh, fourth one is uh, it's not transparent because uh, nobody has the databases. Yeah? Um, that's difficult. It's not reproducible, uh, all the uh, uh, counts. By the way, that's also a problem. Uh, I will later on remark it on uh, age index as well because Google doesn't uh, publish uh, its, its databases. Um, I already mentioned the problem with the first and second author. Uh, by the way, another problem, I think it's not so in my science, uh, in my field, but I think there are a lot of fields where you have six, ten authors or more. Or more. Mm -hmm. they, they do not count yeah? just the first and the second one. And that could be really a problem if you have a, let's say, a collaborative uh, working group and you work together. And, and so that's, so it's uh, the first and the second author. The second author only uh, if it's the listed journal of the own uh, writers or Elsevier. So what happens now is um, that professors, they have the power to get the money for the uh, project, especially, let's say, in Japan, it's very useful usual. It's always the first one, if, if it starts with Z or you know, with a letter in the end of the alphabet. Yeah? Doesn't, so you get a lot of impact fact, a lot of uh, quotation and impacts, but uh, the problem is uh, actually you are just uh, providing the funding and you are one of the first, paper, the first authors and other authors, they are important, uh, they don't get their credit. We have the problem only with listed journals. Uh, we have, uh, that's not important for you, but it is important for the humanities. We have a kind of an English bias, um, meaning, uh, let's say, if you're working on, uh, let's say, Grillparzer studies, yes, or, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make uh, sense uh, to publish it in English, yeah, uh, but our uh, research organization, uh, the uh, research form, just uh, um, supports English, for instance, just English open journals. Yeah? So that's a one, one. another problem is you can make a list of all the journals and then you see a heavy weight to the uh, US journals. Mm -hmm. Even the English journals, yeah? that's when the English uh, scientists complain, are not so uh, uh, in their, uh, you can say, in England are so, uh, such and such number of journals, but it doesn't weigh, have the weight in the in, in the writers or in, in Elsevier. Uh, and then we have this problem of field specific specific problems and science bias. Uh, for instance, in my uh, field in education, we publish books, 
books is a uh, real big things, but they count just once. Yeah. Um, another problem is that you have in different uh, science fields uh, different kind of uh, publication behaviors and publications patterns. For instance, uh, in by I give you afterwards some some figures on this on that as well. Uh, in um, biotechnology, for instance, uh, you have shorter papers yeah, than in uh, history and shorter papers with more people. Yeah. Um, and the last one is uh, general. It is a general remark on the uh, problem of publication in this is uh, that research output is not only research papers. Yeah. So uh, what you have is, let's say, in my science, uh, uh, you have some kind of consultancy with the ministry. It's very important. Uh, it has a lot of influence. Yeah? Uh, or you have a work of art. Yeah? So uh, you can't, uh, uh, it, it, it's, not, it's not counted on this issue. So, uh, now look, let's go more in detail now to the uh, age index. Uh, the name of, of age index is called because it was uh, developed, uh, I have to say invented because it is a construction by uh, Hirsch. Uh, I brought you uh, some article here. It's a very short article, just four pages. Um, an index to quantify an individual scientific research output. Uh, a work done in 2005, so it's a relative young index. Uh, how does it work? Because uh, I think some people don't understand quite well what the age index is. I, I gave you an example. Uh, an age index of 20 means that you have 20 publications that are quoted at least 20 times each. That's important, each. So if you have the age index on 21, it means 21 papers quoted at least 21 times. So that's the problem. You can't manipulate it quite well. Because, let's say, you, have, you need a lot of papers. That's very important. Its amount of papers is important. Yeah? And you need many of these papers quoted many times. For instance, if I would like to improve uh, my index, yeah, then I have to think about it. Let's say I, I have now 26, and uh, I have some papers, let's say, with 25. So I would need two quotations from 25 to 27, but it doesn't change the problem, because I need all my other papers, they are on 26 or yeah, also uh, on a level higher to 27. Yeah, so it's pretty difficult uh, to manipulate it. Um, we, now we think about, about the problem. On the left hand side, uh, I have quoted the problem with the impact factor, with, with the journal impact factor. On the right side, uh, the age index, uh, how it works, and some of the problems you will see are not so strong. We have this skewed distribution here. That's the most important point. We don't have a skewed distribution because what really counts are the real quotations of your papers. So the figure, is what is calculated, is not a general impact figure on the journal itself, independently of the articles they are published there but of your paper. It's very, very important, and I think that's, for me, the most strong argument for the age index. Uh, you have all kinds of quotes, uh, independent of journals. So uh, if you are listed in another journal, is a quote as well. Uh, by the way, that's important to know, because you can a little bit uh, um, put forth in your visibility. For instance, um, if you uh, put your free uh, print on your website, yeah, 
uh, on a certain, I don't go into, into details, on, uh, with a certain format. You need some kind of author, a title, and then some literature. Yeah? Then Google scans it, uh, and in Google Scholar you can download this paper, because after the scans he knows if it's, if it has literature or references or some kind of bibliography, yeah? then you have this quote there, and it, uh, Google knows that it's a kind of scientific paper, and uh, you can download it from Google Scholar. And that's important, so people find it in Google Scholar with a PDF file. If they don't know me or my website or my journal where I have published, yeah, they have a look on Google Scholar, they have my paper, and they can quote my paper, and then I get another quotation for that. Uh, we have still the English bias. Mm, why? Okay, it's not the problem of the of the journals because all journals are, are listed in that case uh, because all quotation counts. The problem is that with English you have a bigger quotation <laughs> citation community. More people know English than Dutch. Yeah. So there is, uh, for, from a political point of view, we have to think about it, but. As a matter of fact, this uh, situation is already dec decided there. Yeah? Every, every uh, scientific field has to orientate to English as a scientific language. <clears throat> oh, sorry, there is a German uh, sentence. Um, we do not have uh, these problems of uh, different fields uh, because we have a different uh, number of months we have to wait for the peer review. And uh, please think about it. You are writing the paper, then you are applying the paper to one of these uh, journal impact factors. Then you have to wait for the experts and for the reviews. Then you get the paper back. Then you revise your paper. Yeah? So, as a matter of fact, it, sometimes it, need, it needs one year or more. So you have written a paper, but after one year, it's uh, published and then people have to read this paper still and then they have to write an article where they quote you so you need three years yeah, to get the quotation yeah? that's, a, that's a problem yeah? even especially now is, is science has a fast uh, yeah, uh, change so uh, at least three years. In some in some uh, scientists are four four or five years. Yeah. Uh, okay, I already gave you the example. Uh, age index is robust, difficult to mani manipulate. Yeah. Uh, the people that defend uh, the uh, journal impact factors, they claim that there is one problem with the age index. Or let's say two problems. Yeah. First of all. Um, no uh, selection about uh, the self quotation. Yeah? Uh, for instance, you write a paper and you make some references on former papers of, uh, of my working group or my article. Uh, well, from a certain point of view, I think um, that is justified because uh, it's a reference on my former work I've done and I build on that. And it's necessary because I can't publish this paper without this reference. Uh, on the other hand, people say, well, uh, it's a trusted quotation by yourself. It's not a quotation at the community at large. Uh, people have done uh, research work and it turned out that this, uh, you can forget this bias. It's actually, it's very, it's about on three to five percent. Yeah? So that's not uh, not 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 really. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, the second problem is um, that is listed every kind of article. So let's think about that. Uh, uh, for instance, if you would have a website and the website is listed as a scientific website because there are a lot of scientific articles there, uh, and Google scans it with his uh, routine then it gets the idea that it's a kind of a repository and it gets the idea that there are also scientific papers. Okay, but what's the problem? 
Some of these papers are really important. We have some websites where even these papers, the first brand review is very important and a lot of people uh, quote them. So for me, it's important if there are other scientists that quote this paper, then it has some kind of importance. Uh, it doesn't matter in what kind of journal it is listed. So this argument, uh, well, it's not the impact factor journal, yeah? it's just a brain print and so on. Yeah? And I think there are some uh, signs like physics in archive. Uh, yeah? They are so important that you get there the most important papers in these brain prints. Yeah? Uh, and, uh, and, and if they are quoted uh, very much, then you get the idea that it's an important paper. So for me, that's not an argument against the age index. Uh, then we have, uh, I have already said, all quotations, but we have the same problem uh, as in um, uh, impact, uh, journal impact factors. Uh, books doesn't count so much. Well, we have another problem with books. Uh, it's not only the problem that we have a lot, let's say we work on a book uh, two years, and it's just one publication. The other problem is that the book traditionally uh, draws much more quotations than papers. But it doesn't matter for the age index. I have several books and they have 300 quotations. Well, 26 and then I have my cut. 26 counts and the other 245, yeah, uh, they are lost. Yeah? And therefore it's necessary also to have uh, a, 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 com a quotation summary how many quotes you have in all your publications to, to get. I give you some ideas what we can do uh, to counter some of these problems. Yeah. And uh, it's difficult to reproduce. Nobody knows the databases of Google. Yeah. That's another problem. Yeah. Um, actually, there are, uh, I, would, I would like to re recommend this book by Anvil Hartzing. She is one of the famous uh, researcher, she's an uh, economist. I, I, I gave you also the, uh, the link. This book is also online, and she's also, she has also developed the software. Uh, for, by the way, it's called Publish or Perish, Pop, Publish or Perish. Yeah? Uh, and she makes all this kind of research work, and she has show, she showed that uh, the uh, Google Scholar Index has improved a lot when it started, it was uh, re really a problem because uh, Google couldn't decide what is just uh, a discussion paper from an article. Uh, but now it has really improved and uh, the Google figures by all uh, scientific research work are pretty stable and they are pretty good. So now let's go uh, an example. I, I gave you my example here, um, that's Google Scholar. What you can do in Google Scholar, you can register and you can uh, make a, a kind of um, um, questionnaire. Um, Google, Google asks you uh, in what kind of science you are working. Yeah? Uh, then you give all your data and then make Google uh, uh, a search. And you get immediately, let's say after five minutes, yeah, your age index, uh, as Google has said it. And then you can, there, now this has several advantages. First of all, uh, you see what your age index is and you can, um, how do, um, you, can, you can look into the, de into the details. For instance, the problem is that sometimes a paper is not quoted correctly let's say, missing a letter, or sometimes I'm P. Baumgartner, the other one, Peter Baumgartner, so there are some differences. And uh, then you can look if is the paper not by you, by you, and you can also edit it. You can make the improvement, uh, because that's, that's a problem. If there are several uh, sources, then you get, let's say, from an article, it's a, an important article, uh, three different quotations, because if one, uh, if one author quotes you wrongly, then the next author is quoting you from this paper also wrongly. Yeah? 
And then you have, let's say, three different quotations. One is by 10, other 5, another 3. But actually, you would have 18. Yeah? You can collect this and you can uh, summarize it. Uh, this is another thing. The third one, I think it's the very, very nicest one, you can also look who is quoting you and in what article and in what circumstances. So you've got an idea uh, what you are, what is the effect of your article, who is reading it, who is quoting it. Yeah? Uh, that's really, and sometimes you get a shower because you're, ah, I know this guy I, from this conference, yeah, oh, he's quoting me. Yeah? Uh, and, the, and you can also improve your networks with this. Yeah? You can really go in, into detail. Um, then we have other figures here as well. Uh, for instance, that's uh, another problem. We will talk about this. Um, I didn't look in my age index, let's say, six months. Yeah? Uh, six months before it was 24. Yeah? Now it is 26. But that is not because of my big publication output, it's because of my age. Because the uh, age index uh, doesn't lower, it's always grows with your age. So if an article is very old, then the chance that it is quoted, yeah, it's much higher than a young one, a recent one. Yeah? So that's one of this uh, problem. We will talk about this age problem. Yeah? You can see the age problem, for instance, with the bigger uh, here with uh, I10 index, uh, uh, sorry, yes, I, no, no, it's not the I10 index, um, it's the index uh, 2010, the last five years, yeah, and you see my age index in the last five years is just 14, yeah, meaning that it's going down a little bit, yeah, because now I'm in a lot of commissions and can't publish so much, yeah, the big, the big uh, papers I have done uh, before, uh, uh, 10 years uh, earlier. Uh, and then you also see um, the, another problem in my publications. I have uh, 43 articles that are much higher or at least higher as the 26. Yeah? That is good on the one case, because it means if other people are quoting me, maybe it gets higher, even if I don't publish anymore. Yeah? But the other thing is, as you can see, I have a learner with software with, with 400 quotes. Okay, it doesn't matter. Don't, don't have any effect on the age index, just counting as one uh, publication. Yeah? Um, and when you have this uh, Google profile, it has several advantages. As I said, for you, uh, you can investigate it, but it has also advantage for other people. They can call it, they see the um, edited uh, summary of your publications, they got all your list of publications with the links and they can quote it, or they can also download it with, via Google Scholar. Yeah? That's, uh, some people are using that instead of their biography list. Yeah? Uh, and it is listed, and you can also see sometimes also uh, 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 different sources are listed. Let's say, for instance, uh, in a movie, if you are mentioned, yeah, or uh, in a weblog. Yeah? They are, they, maybe they are not important for the age index, yeah? but they give you some ideas what, what has some relevance and effect. Um, okay. So what I'm doing sometimes in a seminar is how to improve uh, the visi visibility with Google Scholar and uh, because it's important that uh, Google Scholar finds you and counts the and makes the calculation uh, on the right uh, correctly. So let's now talk about uh, the disadvantages. As I told you, we have the problems with young researchers. I will give you some um, 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 measures uh, to overcome this problem. We have the problem uh, that social sciences are handicapped or other products and publications. Maybe that's not important for you, science, uh, your field of science. And uh, we have the problems with books 
with the, the, their handicaps. So let's talk about remedies. And I think the most important one for you may be uh, the problem of young scientists. We have a different quotient. Uh, that's a problem. Google Scholar has just uh, the I-10 index and five years before, and the age index. Yeah? But uh, if you, for instance, applying for a job at the university, then it would be very important that you provide the committee uh, different kind of measures uh, to uh, argue that you are young and if you calculate it correctly, making, uh, for instance, the M growth quotient, uh, then uh, it's a division by years and you, have, you can weight it by years and you can calculate I'm pretty young, but in these five years I have already. Yeah? And then you can make a case of it. Yeah? Uh, another one is uh, about the start of career, uh, because it's also calculated by the time of your first publication. Uh, for instance, I made my first publications in the year 1980, about in a very strange field about demography. Yeah? No quotation at all. Yeah? But it listed. It's my first. Yeah? But with Google Scholar, you can cancel this. And my first uh, uh, quotation that really counts was on education, education technology in the year 1986. So it's six years later. What I have won is six years, uh, shorter uh, research career, different kind of measure uh, divided by age. Yeah? I think it's not uh, manipulation, yeah? because it, in eight it was just my dissertation, it was a qualification work. Yeah. Uh, you can also calculate the age index of the last five years. That is done also by, by Google. Yeah? Uh, that's interesting. Uh, you can see, um, it, because it's waiting, uh, there, there's a weight in it. You can also see, well, the age index as such is not so big, but in the last five years, it's good. Yeah? Or the other way around. Yeah? If you get, an, if, for instance, if you're in a committee and you have to decide which should be get the professor post, yeah? then you can see, well, the other one is maybe on the um, end of his career. And you have also the possibility that's also calculated by, by Anvil Hatzing, the so-called uh, contemporary index, uh, that is an age-related index. Uh, most of the people, they don't know about these indexes. Yeah? So if you want to make a case for your career, you should uh, post it. And she has also the material, empirical material, to support this kind of indices. <clears throat> okay, let's, uh, that's, maybe that's interesting for you as well. It's not about humanities and social science, but uh, because we have uh, another problem also in mathematics. Yeah? The most important point is, do not compare about different disciplines. You can't do that. Because the age index in biotechnology is completely different, uh, the, the, the level, yeah, from mathematics. Yeah? We have also, there was a, um, a guy, a mathematician, by the way, he wrote several articles and uh, make the proof. Yeah? For instance, me meaning in biomedicine, uh, an age index uh, of uh, 10 or whatever you have is made, it's, uh, in relation to mathematics 78 times higher yeah? meaning that the mathematicians they don't uh, quote each other have a lot of papers uh, long papers maybe and papers just by one person yeah? so you have here for instance for me is interesting the social and behavioral science so we are about the factor, let's say, certain uh, meaning with, uh, with biomedicine. If I would have, let's say, uh, age index, let's say, with 10, uh, in biomedicine uh, would be matched by 50, uh, because the difference is, uh, is a count of, of, of 5. So, uh, but that's just these figures. What the important thing is, don't match disciplines. Yeah, you can't do that because you have different kind of uh, patterns, publications patterns in discipline, different kind of cultures. Yeah? So you have, if you make a comparison, then you have to choose the same discipline. 
That's, by the way, it's, it's difficult for people if they have changed the discipline or if they are writing interdisciplinary. For me, for instance, it's an, an advantage, yeah? Because uh, in education, yeah, I would have a very low, like education is, uh, let's say, uh, nine, yeah? But actually, as I'm writing on education technology, technology engineering is five. Meaning that my quotations, I, I, I've listed a lot in a lot of computer journals as well. Yeah? So I got a better chance. If you would com, uh, compare me with an educationalist, a poor educationalist, yeah? I, I would be, I, I would be get a better figure than uh, I, uh, I earn than in reality. Yeah? So it's, I think it's, it's, it's easier to talk about oneself than to other people, yeah? Because you can also make uh, your research work, uh, and sometimes uh, it's pretty, from a political point of view, pretty difficult. For instance, you could look uh, to different people at the university and to compare them, and then, yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, it has some, let's say, uh, it's, not, it's not so easy. But the best way for you is, to prepare your age index for yourself, for yourself, to make the pro uh, profile as best as you can, yeah? because otherwise people could any time uh, have their research work and make and, and, and look in, in your uh, age index, and then they got the wrong figures. Yeah? Uh, and then we have the problems with the highly cited publications. Okay, the most important thing you have. To, to do it anyway is uh, to make a rank list of publications. This is important because then you will see what kind of publications got a lot of quotations and then you can think about that. Why? Was it the journal? Was it the co-author? Yeah? Was it the subject? Yeah? And then you got some ideas how sh you should proceed with your career. We have special indexes, I don't go into detail, the G and the E index, uh, the, the weight, the, the kind of, of, of quotation, they, they uh, take into account uh, uh, more quotations, and then we have this I-10 index uh, used by Google Scholar. Okay, I'm coming to an end, yeah? just to give you some references, okay? Um, you can download it. I'll, I'll just give you some ideas. First of all, most important is this book by uh, Anne Wilhelm Hartzig. Yeah? She, as a matter of fact, she made a career on that and uh, she got a, a professorship because she uh, ar argued uh, all the kind of stuff and she had a lot of case studies in there. Yeah? The website is very complete and you have also the complete book uh, uh, open source. The next one is uh, Google Scholar. It's a very important tool. It's very different to Google, uh, the, the normal Google search engine. And then we have this kind of software, Publisher Parish. It's also download, uh, it's for download on the website of Anvil Hatzing. Uh, it's for uh, Macintosh and for uh, Macintosh is a little bit more complicated. You need uh, uh, um, special software for it, uh, but it works and it's uh, also for Windows. Uh, when you're doing uh, this, this uh, software is really, really good. It's much, much better than Google Scholar because it has in implemented all the indexes I talked to you about. Yeah, you have the G index, the E index, all the contemporary index, uh, the M index, all there. Yeah? Uh, I think you have about 35 different kind of indexes. Yeah? She's explaining the indexes. Yeah? So it gives you some ideas what is this index about. But the software uses the search engine by Google, by Google Scholar. Now you, there is a problem. If you uh, make a research, and you're using, let's say, in a half an hour, 10 times Google search engine via this app, yeah, then you are closed down for half an hour. Yeah? Google Scholar says, no, <laughs> there's too much load coming from you. Yeah? 
So, but as, as a matter of fact, you have a little bit to think about it. Uh, it you can't say, well, uh, I give in a name and now well, it wasn't quite uh, uh, correctly spelled at the right another time and so on. Uh, then you have to wait. Yeah, but normally you get you can make four or five searches uh, and you can narrow down your search. Normally that's the most important thing. You can also use it for research on your subject. Let's say you are writing a pro project proposal and in this project proposal uh, you would like to address the most important publications. You give it in the keyword and you get these publications they are most highly ranked and most uh, highly uh, quoted. And that's important, and you get the idea what are the most... It's also important if you step in in a new field of research. You can see what are the most important articles. Yeah? And so you can... She has a lot of case studies, whatever you can research there, what, what you can make out of this kind of software. And the software is free. Here's an example uh, from the interface of, of the software. And you see uh, on the head this different kind of, uh, um, of, of, of measures. Okay. That was it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, are there any questions? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah.